I was raised in Alain, which is a landlocked city uh, that's like hours away from any beaches. There, I studied environmental horticulture at UAE University. My love for the sea started when I went on uh, trips with my family to the sea when, when we would go fishing. We would explore the surrounding areas with the beaches and we would see a lot of fish and, and marine life. So when I was working on the farms and working really closely with the plants and understanding their biology, I was also going out to the sea on weekends and, and uh, looking at the marine life and, and the algae and the seagrass. I really wanted to pursue a career where I can combine both. Seagrasses are a marine flowering plants. They are found underwater and they function as a marine habitat that are found adjacent to coral reef and mangroves as well. They function and they photosynthesize entirely submerged underwater and they can tolerate the extreme salinity of the water. That's one of the things that fascinated me about the seagrasses in this region and even globally is that they have the ability to photosynthesize while underwater but also uh, provide a habitat for other uh, organisms to, to live in. There are so many organisms that rely on seagrasses uh, entirely. The most uh, important one here is the dugong or the sea cow. So they exclusively feed on seagrasses. Seagrasses are considered a bit of a challenge to study, especially in this region, just because of the nature of where they are here. There are places around the world where seagrasses can be found in intertidal zones. So you can just walk up to a shoreline in low tide and then you can do your research there. But with the seagrasses here, they're mostly found in subtidal areas, and that's kind of below uh, three meters or two meters in depth. If we wake up tomorrow and the seagrasses are all gone, that's going to have an effect on, firstly, the dugongs, because they won't have any food to eat from. Our fish stocks will also uh, go through a decline because there won't be enough habitats for their nurseries to grow in. We will also have more erosion on our coastlines just because of the fact that the extensive root system of the seagrasses help with stabilizing the sediments on the shorelines. We have a, an abundance of seagrasses uh, across the coastline of Abu Dhabi and the whole of UAE as well. And they're very understudied. There's a lot of different aspects when it comes to seagrass research. And I feel like there's a lot more to learn.